right? Okay. Um, what I'd like to say is, let's try to figure out where we fit in nature, okay? Because uh, unlike dogs, we, we can't fit, you know, we have to try and think about it. Okay. Where we fit in nature is simply that we are mammals, and mammals have four qualities which distinguish them from non-mammals. We are warm-blooded, we have hair or fur, our babies are born alive, not in eggs, and we have mammary glands to produce milk. This is a mammal. There are some weird ones, extreme ones called monotremes and other ones, but for the most part, that's what a mammal is. And there are two basic mammals, two groups of mammals. Okay, one, groups have, one group has vertically moving jaws, acidic saliva, short digestive tracts, um, and they pant. When they, eat, when they eat, they chase another animal, they break its ne neck, they rip open its abdomen, and they eat the organs, pancreas, rectum, a liver, kidneys, blood, uh, heart, lungs. They chew the eyeballs. They luxuriate in the gore, and they're called carnivores. If I handed anyone in this room a chicken, you would not rip its head off and eat it alive, and neither would your grandparents or their grandparents or their grandparents or their grandparents, because we simply are not carnivores. New York Museum of Natural History, anyone ever been there in Manhattan? If you go to it and you go to the carnivore section, the only place you find humans is on this side of the ropes, okay? All right. Can we get away with it? Sure. Can we smoke? Sure. Can we shoot heroin? Sure. Are we going to achieve optimal functioning? No way. Optimal functioning is the only definition of health. Okay. We were all fitted for optimal functioning for health by nature. All animals, I mean eagles, we have no idea what the optimal functioning of a human is. Einstein used 8% of his brain. There are guys in uh, uh, Vilcabamba, Machu Picchu, Abkhazia, Georgia, who are fathering children at the age of 110. We have people here at 35 asking for Viagra. Okay, so we have no idea what the optimal functioning of a human is, but we're far from it. One out of two and a half of us in this room will, die, will get cancer in our lifetime. That's sad. That's tragic. And what's even more tragic is 98% of you will go out of this room and plant some more seeds. One of the... Anyway, so there's that group of mammals and there's... Okay, now the, the, those carnivores, there's something akin to a carnivore. It's a cousin. It's called a scavenger. These are hyenas and jackals. They like to eat corpses, much like you and I. Right? The only difference between them and us is that these uh, hyenas and jackals still have instinct. And so they don't eat the corpse after 72 hours. We, being devoid of instinct, we slaughter a, an animal and it gets stiff. We can't eat it, we'll break our teeth. So we hang it up for 96 hours and allow it to decay. But we don't call it decay, we call it aging. Just like we call it, don't call it, we call it health insurance instead of disease insurance. We call it life insurance instead of death insurance. We do all those things. That's what we do. We're really good at fooling ourselves, aren't we? The truth is, it's a decayed corpse. So we take this piece of decayed corpse home. Can you eat it? No, you stick it in the oven. Pull it out of the oven, can you eat it? No, you put salt, pepper, and A1 steak sauce on it. So, we not only do not eat the food of the carnivore, we do not eat the food of the scavenger, we eat the food of the maggot. Can't imagine why we get sick, can you? Now, listen, the other group of, the other group of mammals is called our elephants, rhinos, hippos, giraffes, horses, cows, gorillas, bonobos. Jaws move horizontally as well as vertically, full cheeks, full lips, alkaline saliva, long digestive tracts, and we don't pant except on honeymoons. We sweat. Okay, so, um, boy, my time's running out. Um, anyway, this group was designed by nature for a plant-based diet. Even if you don't want that to be true, it's true. Even if you don't want to step, even if you don't want to believe it, uh, gonna, you're going to fly, you won't. You're going to fall at 32 feet per second squared. Okay, that's just the way it is. Now, all the energy, now remember, this is, we're talking about energy exchange. When someone gets old and finally dies, what happens if they run out of energy? Now, all the energy on this planet comes from the sun. It's captured by plants, and as you know, all transfers of energy, you lose 90% and you remain 10%. So the plants capture and keep 10% of that energy, that solar energy. 
They grow up 300 feet tall. They live 2,000 years. That's pretty impressive. Okay, the next longest lived and most powerful creatures on the planet are the ones that eat the plants. Elephants, rhinos, hippos. Do you think the king of beasts, the lion, attacks a healthy rhino? No. Healthy elephant? No. Okay. So, how about longevity? All the vertically moving carnivores live 15 years. Horses, 28 to 40 years. Elephants, 60 to 90 years. Chimps, 55 years. Okay, so the animals that eat the plants live the longest. How about endurance? Cheetahs run 70 miles an hour for how long? Three minutes. Horses run all day, every day. Endurance, longevity, strength, intelligence all go to the plant eaters. And guess what? The animals that eat the animals don't eat the animals that eat the animals. Lions eat zebras. Why? Better quality flesh. Who wants to be better quality flesh? All right, so it's actually real simple. And guess what? We are the only organism on the planet that thermally degenerates our food before ingesting it. Okay, nature made tomatoes, not tomato sauce. Apples, not applesauce. In fact, apples were baked to perfection by the sun. Okay? So you have, if you understand that very simple thing, that by living in this urban, artificial environment, which only leads to, look, go to the mall, go to any street in America, and look around, what do, what do you see? You, all you see is sickness. Okay? It's because of this artificiality. Our only connection, if you're going to continue to live in this artificial environment, is to eat the food the way nature designed it. If you take a potato, and you know those potato clocks you put, put in two, it's got two uh, prongs, it works. The potato has life. You bake that potato, it doesn't work. It's dead. Now, if we're eating for energy exchange, how much energy can you get from a corpse? Not a lot unless you are a maggot. Is that what the Marines meant, what they called each other maggots? Anyway, the point is that, and I've got one minute left, so, okay. The point is, is that uh, to, to, to maintain health and vigor, we have to eat according to our natures. And if we eat according to our natures, we can therein, then achieve optimal functioning. And optimal functioning easily overcomes cancer easily overcomes anything. You know, the average 60-year-old adult has had cancer five, six times in their life that they have overcome. Okay, they didn't know it. Okay. So cancer is not a big deal. Diabetes is just an eating disorder. Diabetes type 2, I mean, is an eating disorder. How do I know? Because I've had people who were scheduled for amputation on insulin have normal blood sugars within a week.